So, uh, here is my notification system project and all the services that I mentioned. Uh, let us start all these services one by one. So, let's begin with notification service. I have all these services running. Let us check once. Oh, so it's a notification service which is running on port 8080. Yeah, on 8080. And then it's a notification service priority 1 service which is running on IGS 8081. Yes, 8081. On 8082, here we have priority 2 service. Priority 1, 8082. Priority 3 on 8083. On 8083. And then we have consumer services. Or the email consumer on 1890, I guess. Yeah, 1890. SMS consumer on 1891. Here it is. And the push notification consumer on 8092 okay so we have all the service ready now let's make a post request using our postman so i will be sending a post request to localhost 8080 slash api slash send notification uh, which is the endpoint in our notification service that is running on port 8080 so this is the sample request uh, i have selected a minus one priority here so that i am allowing uh, the services to select a uh, uh, select a necessary priority for my request uh, based on templates or the default priority which is medium priority so uh, I want notifications on all the three channels, email, SMS and push and I have selected user ID 3. Uh, uh, for the user ID 3, all the notifications and all the channels have been enabled uh, for the testing and there is no user uh, no user preferences as such. All the notifications will be delivered and uh, in the content we are using a template, using template true. Template name is trending nearby which is kind of promotional message and the placeholders required in the template are name and location which I have given Puneet and location Noida. So and message here is not required or if we give something that will not affect something will not affect the request because we are already using the template and message will be uh, drafted using the template uh, data and we have uh, this email subject email attachments and push notification which is having action uh, url which will be uh, which basically governs where to redirect the user on the notification click so let's send this request send mm, where is the response sending request okay so we have received 202 notification accepted for processing let us check in our services okay and let us first check notification service we can see the notification successfully forwarded to Kafka with priority 3 by the notification service. Let's check our Kafka. Here it is. Uh, you can see all the topics being generated in the Kafka cluster, cluster 0 that is. And we have forwarded the notification to priority 3 topic because it's a promotional message, okay? So let's check for the recent message. Yeah, here's the request. Trending nearby, Puneet, Noida. And we can check the timestamp as well in 17. It's 1020 now, okay? So that was uh, the request was received in our Kafka topic, priority 3 topic. Let us open all the topics here. So we have received the message in our Kafka topic. Now it's a priority 3 topic. So we must be not having anything in priority 1 and priority 2. Applications. Let's see priority 3. Let's see our priority 3 application. And it is having some info logs. Okay. Uh, email. Email is sent to Kafka. Delivery log updated. User ID 3. And the whole request in the info log then uh, preference okay sms is allowed according to preferences sms sent to kafka push is allowed push notification is sent to kafka and what about email email is sent to kafka okay email request might have been received here yeah preference for email and other things so all the three requests have been sent to kafka by priority three application as well which is at priority three application as well now let us check our consumers Okay, so uh, now let us first check a Kafka topics, email topic, yeah, this is the latest request, we can see this is the latest request and it has been received by a Kafka email topic and similarly we can uh, see this message in uh, respective topics. So let us check the consumer, the, the email consumer, now email request received, email request uh, and response from Sendgrid which is our third party email uh, vendor. Uh, email request this is response form sent grid is sent successfully 
email request this is the complete request and status updated to send for notification id 618 and similarly sms sms sent and the push notification okay there is some uh, node warnings but here we can see uh, the notification is being sent okay. uh, for sms we are using twilio we are using twilio or whatever we may pronounce it uh, as a third party vendor and for push notifications we are currently not using any uh, vendor and we are just simply uh, updating the status to send uh, without the integration of third party vendors okay uh, let us see whether we have received any email yes on 10 17 we have generated the request and let's take the time lag on 10 17 22 sec 41 second and we have request received email at 10 18 and that's me hi pony check out for sending noya and i've also received the sms request for which i will be attaching a screenshot now let us make another request for the user 2 and now let's use another template otp verification template so we'll be having placeholders otp of course and our otp would be 789789456 new subject otp attachment Push notification title to OTP and action to maybe auth. Let's generate this request as well. Now, yeah, notification sent for processing. It took so much time, I don't know why, but because maybe due to uh, the recordings and all, the system has slowed down a lot. Yeah, it is. The notification service application notification forwarded to Kafka with priority one because this is an OTP uh, notification uh, and it must have a higher priority or maybe the highest priority. So, we have priority one for the OTP template. Okay, let us check priority one application for user two. This time we have selected user two. Uh, remember, user three doesn't have any preferences, but user two had few preferences. Preference for user ID two channel email. This is the preference, but for email currently quite ours is epic. Is it? Let us check in the database. Preferences for user two email. Quite ours. It starts at twenty two and at six a.m. So yes, quite ours is actually active. And so we will not send the email notification as per user preferences. And for channel SMS, channel is disabled. So user is selected not to receive any SMS. Uh, for user 2, SMS channel is disabled. Okay, great. And uh, so we are not sending SMS as per user preferences. And push channel. For the channel push, priority 1 is disabled. Now what's that? So for the channel push, for user 2, we have allowed message priority only 3. So the user is selected to only receive promotional messages using push notification and not any other notifications. So uh, we must not have received any events in our consumers. Let's try with another request. Okay, so user is not having any preference to receive notifications at night. Let us check for user 1. Let's not use a template this time. Attachment. Title. Let us take the user to home. Everything seems fine. We want all the three notifications and let's send the request. Accepted for processing. Great. Oh, wait. We have not mentioned any priority, I guess. It's minus one. So uh, our service must have assigned a priority two to it. Let us check first. Yeah, priority two. Now let us check priority two application. Here is the preferences for user ID1. Uh, checking for preferences for email, quite ours is active. Oh, okay, not sending email for SMS again, quite ours active, not sending SMS and not sending push notification as well. Let us try the same for user ID3. Bad time to record the video as user preferences are not to receive the notification. So, email is sent to Kafka and for SMS, SMS is allowed. SMS sent to Kafka, push notification is also allowed. Push notification sent to Kafka. So, our consumers. We'll take up the request email request email request received email request response from sendgrid this is a response which says our uh, status code 202 that means uh, everything went well email request with the request content this is this sent successfully status updated to send for notification id 627 similarly sms sms sent we are missing you and the push notification consumer status sent let us verify whether we have received another email Yeah, missing you from scalable notification system. We are missing you with subject we have mentioned. That's on pin thirty five. 
uh, let us verify in the database actually so for the last request so for the last request we have generated the request for user 3 for which actually the status is sent for all the three notifications email sms and push notification right and we have all the data here also before that we have tried for user 1 for which uh, we lost uh, actually we didn't send the notifications according to preferences and similarly for user 2 so its status is pending so why they are not failed uh, because we can implement a retry strategy uh, we can implement a retry strategy and uh, check out what are the pending notifications uh, for the status of our trial whether we have tried to send them is here in the delivery logs so for the last notification was email no let's refresh yeah so last three notifications 29 28 and 27 were sent before that three notifications were 29 28 27 these three only scheduled to kafka and even before that the three notifications failed not sending notification for user one preference uh, as per user one preferences right and similarly we have three notifications failed for user three or for user two preferences as per user two preferences and these were attempted at this this time so that was the notification system